have Brad Freiberger, the general manager for Southern Illinois Scale, to talk to us about InMotion Rail Scale. Good morning from Southern Illinois. Let's start with how does an InMotion Rail Scale work? The InMotion Rail Scale is just a variation of a static scale. The indicator works in, com in conjunction with track switches and RFID readers that read the tags on the cars. As the cars come through, our indicator watches the track switches. We know where the car is in position. It knows the car number. And then we read the weights and calculate them uh, as it rolls across. This indicator is not really what I consider a true PC, but it is a process instrument that allows us to do fairly complex algorithms in these weights and get you good car weights. What can you tell us about the PC web interface and how reporting works with this setup? The web interface is really a part of the system. Uh, it is required by law for us to have a way for the user to see this information. So we use the web interface. It is really a great invention or a great idea. Uh, through your phone, through your iPad, through your computer, you can log into the instrument and see this thing in real time use. You can zero the scale, you can collect logs, you can collect weights, you can collect tickets, you can make changes all from your web interface. Can you tell us about who would be using a rail scale like this? Essentially anyone that weighs train cars that isn't loading on them. And there is variations where you can use a, a train car that loads on it. For example, a grain elevator might push the cars in empty and in motion and then way back out statically on top of a scale. That is one, that is one variation that works. Uh, anyone that like a coal mine, metal, uh, sands, mineral sands, frack sands, just anyone that weighs rail cars can use an in motion if they use static now. And what are the considerations when converting from a static rail scale? The biggest consideration you need to keep in mind is, is that the track has to be in really good condition for in motion to work. What you don't want is noise in this track. So if you've got uh, soft spots, bad sections of track, bad ties, bumps, all that creates noise, which feeds back into the into the weighing element. So you try to, and you also, for sake of intent, we have to increase the distance of the approaches. Static scales have 25 foot approaches. In motion scales have 75 foot approaches. So that is, a, that is the basic considerations that you need to think about. And what are the advantages of getting one? Time and safety are the two largest items that you deal with. Time, because we don't have to uncouple cars. Uh, they, they just roll through. And safety, because anytime you're uncoupling a car, that puts a man in between two cars, what we call the red zone. So time and safety are your largest item. OK, so I believe that paints a pretty good picture of what an in-motion rail scale is can be used and what are the advantages of getting one. So thank you, Brad, for this session. Thank you very much.